good morning dear students welcome back again with a new lesson and with a new session of science 2 lesson number 6 animal classification in which we are going to study about history of animal classification the new myth system of animal classification and kingdom animalia now what are the criteria or condition for the classification of organisms now excess of organisms are there it is very difficult to classify them and therefore various similarities and dissimilarities are there are the criteria with the help of which classification is being based on now here incomplete table is there which we are going to complete try to complete it now here living organism is classified into classified into prokaryotes and eukaryotes that already we have discussed in the a standard now further prokaryotes are divided into or classified into kingdom monera then unicellular organisms is classified into kingdom protista and then on the other side living organism is classified as as i have said to you prokaryotes and eukaryotes eukaryotes are further classified into cell with uh, with cell wall and organism with without cell wall with cell wall it is autotroph and heterotroph and without cell wall it is animalia now this is how classification of animal is being done the rest part is completed there are varieties of animals around uh, around us some animals are too small whereas some are too big some animals are terrestrial which that is there which are living on the land and some are aquatic that is living in the water some animals crawl on the land we call it as crawling animals that some swim in the water whereas some fly in the air some animals have scales on the skin whereas some have feathers or hairs in this way there is a huge diversity among the animals too according to recent studies estimated number of animal species on the earth is approximately 7 million it is impossible to study each and every species however if groups and subgroups of animals are formed depending upon the similarities and differences it will make it very easy to study each of the vast variety of the animals so based on differences and similarities we can classify the animals and we can study about each species very easily now history of animal classification this topic is being omitted so we'll move to further with the next sub topic that is traditional method of animal classification in which non chordates and chordates are there though non chordates are not there but still some introduction about non chordates i would like to give now non chordates means uh, without backbone uh, notochord is absent in case notochord in case of non chordates pharyngeal glyphs are absent the nerve no cord is also represent that it is on the ventral side ventral means front side and dorsal means back side heart if it is present on the dorsal side dorsal side means back side uh, we should more will more focus on the chordates so now we'll move to chordates chordates of chordates of or characteristics of chordates are as follows body is supported by notochord notochord means long long red rod like structure is there which is passing from the cranium to the dorsal part of the animal or in case of human being then pharyngeal glyphs in uh, or lungs are present for respiration then nerve cord is present on the dorsal side of the body it is hollow heart is present it is on the ventral side ventral means in the front side of the body then notochord is a long rod like uh, supporting structure present on the dorsal side of the animal body it keeps the nerve tissue isolated from the remaining body the notochord 
which is uh, you can say called as uh, its nerves get spread up everywhere and connected to each part of the body now based on the characteristics it is being classified now all chordates animals are grouped together in a single phylum and the name of phylum is same phylum chordata the phylum has been divided into three sub phyla such as eurochordata sphaerochordata and vertebrata now the name gives certain uh, information about it which we will discuss is as the topic comes out okay now further vertebrata is divided into six classes namely cyclostomata fishes class amphibia class reptilia class aves and class mammalia now in this year or in this session we are discuss very few topic of it because the 10 phylum to study in one day is very difficult to remember the names because certain new terms are there and are very difficult to pronounce such terms are there and therefore slowly slowly will move in this lesson so first of all the classification in simple form it is given here animal kingdom is classified into non chordates and chordates which we already discussed the characteristics there in non chordates 10 sub phylum 10 phylums are there and uh, in chordata it is divided into sub phylum three sub phylum is there and the vertebrata is further divided into six class now this system of animal classification was was in practice till now however nowadays a new system of classification is followed which we will study it a uh, new system of classification in brief at present according to five kingdom classification system of robert whitaker all multicellular animals are included in a kingdom animalia this system of classification is based upon some criteria like body organization body symmetry body cavity germinal layers segmentation etc now in criteria for the new system of classification certain topics are omitted which we are not going which will omit it or which will not consider it today the remaining part of the criteria that is uh, c germ layers diploblastic and triploblastic and in short we'll discuss about body symmetry in short in the next class so for today uh, the criteria of system we will stop till criteria of system of classification remaining part of this we'll do it in the next video till then have a great day